Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the DJI Air 3 Drone Intelligent Flight Batteries. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but it's important because what DJI's built here is so much more than a standard lithium battery pack. It's intelligent. It's like a brilliant power plant that has a controller inside that's constantly talking to your drone while it's flying, giving it a lot of good information on the status of the battery. It's monitoring the charge cycle when you're charging it. It's monitoring the discharge cycle when you're using it. It's keeping track of the temperature. It's keeping track of how many times it's been charged. It's balancing the charge across all the internal cells. I mean, it's working really hard. In a lot of ways, it's a wicked smart device. And that's for you guys in Boston. Anyway, I love what DJI's built here. And I think the reason they spent that much time on the battery is they realize it's a single point of failure with the drone. And what I mean by that is there's only a couple of things that'll bring this drone out of the sky. The propellers for sure, but the battery for sure as well. So if this fails when you're flying, this drone's gonna drop out of the sky like a stone. So it's important that this works. And if it starts not working a little bit, it should let the drone know that there's gonna be problems with the power plant. You might wanna head back home and land. So I'll get into some of the smart features in a second. But first, let me talk about the battery because even if it wasn't smart, they pack so much energy into this tiny little case that it's unbelievable. So the battery itself can provide 40 241 milliamp hours of energy at 14.76 volts. Now, if you do the quick math on that, that works out to be 62.6 watt hours of energy. And that's great because airlines won't let you fly with a battery that's more than 100 watt hours. So having a battery that's under the 100 watt hours means you can pack these on your carry-on. You can't put them in the under undercarriage. You got to go on the plane with you, but bring them along on your next trip. You can fly your drone. The other thing that's really smart about this battery is that they're using lithium ion technology instead of lithium polymer technology. Now that's a small distinction, but it's extremely important. And there's a lot of debate out there about which of those technologies is better. For me, the lithium ion is better because it gives you a greater energy density in a tiny little package like this. I cannot believe how much energy is inside this little battery pack that allows the drone to fly for a really long time up in the air. It's almost like you've got this really tightly wound spring when you charge this that wants to let that energy go to let the drone fly. So just a phenomenal amount of energy in a small package like this. But back to the lithium ion versus the lithium polymer. The big difference is lithium ion can handle temperatures better. So if you're flying the drone on cold days or warm days, it's gonna handle that better. Whereas lithium polymer gets a little bit fuzzy around those temperatures. If you're really flying on a hot day, that battery may decay pretty quickly up there in the sky. It also handles more charge and discharge cycles. So it means you're gonna use the battery longer. And what really helps with that are some of the smart features built into the controller. So the ability to sort of monitor the charge inside the battery, it allows that controller to spread that charge across all the cells and more importantly, balance that charge across those cells. And it even shows you that in the application. So if you go into the battery information in the application, you'll see how that's balanced across the cells. A lot of other just lithium packs out there require a very sophisticated external charger that does that work externally to balance across the cells. It's all done inside the battery. I love the fact that it's keeping track of the charge cycle. So I know how many times I've charged the battery. I know when a battery's getting old because I can count those charge cycles. And I know if I'm buying a used drone, the first thing I want to check, and this is good advice for you, anybody selling you a drone, look at the batteries first. Because if there's 150 charge cycles on it, don't listen to the guy telling you he only flew it a couple of times on Sunday. Because 150 charge cycles means his drone that you're buying now has been flying for a long time. So always check that. But I like that I can check that. I love the fact that it checks the temperature because one way you can damage these batteries in no time whatsoever is to try to charge them when it's too hot or too cold. You try to force electrons inside of a lithium ion cell when it's super hot, you won't notice it right away, but you're killing that battery. Here, that's gonna keep track of the temperature. If it's too warm to charge, it's not gonna let you charge it. So that controller inside there, you ought to be thanking it every time you charge up your battery because it's really protecting, again, one of the most expensive accessories that you're gonna buy for your drone. Now, the last thing I'll mention is, and this is about the charging. These batteries require a big charger. You've gotta push a lot of electrons at them to get them charged quickly. Now, you have a couple of choices here. You really can't charge them with a small charger like a 33 water. You can, but it's gonna take you a day and a half. So you want at least a 60 watt or a 65 watt charger. That'll charge them in about 80 minutes. But if you can find a 100 or 140 watt charger, you can charge them at 60 minutes. Now, you can plug them into the drone and charge them through the drone. That's not my favorite way to do it because I don't like to use my drone as a battery charger because if something happens with the battery and it goes non-linear, I'm going to damage the drone. Whereas if I'm charging it outside of the drone, the worst that can happen is I lose the battery. So what I like a lot is the charging hub, which is something that DJI offers as well. And this allows you to pop three batteries in it at the same time, plug it into a big charger, 
and this has brains in it, and it's going to actually interrogate the three batteries, figure out which one needs the least amount of charge, and then charge that one fully and shut it off, then check the other two and figure out which one needs the least amount of charge, charge that fully and then shut it off and move on to the third. So this is a way to charge these outside of the drone, away from damaging anything over here, and sort of um, automatically. You don't have to keep track of what's going on. If you're charging them in the drone, which is how a lot of people do it, you still got to keep track of is it charged, isn't it charged, you're going to waste a lot of time shuffling batteries in and outside the drone. So I like this, I like the charging hub an awful lot. The other thing, and I'm not trying to talk this up too much, but I really like this accessory. The other thing with this is the batteries that are in there can act as a power bank. So if you're out and it's in the afternoon and maybe you've got 20% left on your batteries, when you pop them in here, you can connect the device to it externally and it becomes a power bank to charge your phone or your controller. So it's kind of a wizardry device. I'll actually do a clip on that separately so you understand it. But, but back to the batteries. I think DJI did a phenomenal job. I know I give them a lot of credit with their drones, but the reason I like the company so much is that they're not just brilliant about the way they design a drone and all the features and functions they built into that. They're thinking about all the other things that could affect your flying experience, and the batteries are super important. So it would be easy for them just to throw a couple of lithium ion cells inside of a plastic case and then put you on the hook for trying to figure out how to charge them safely, not really keeping track of what's going on. I love the fact that these batteries are talking to the controller inside the drone. So if I'm goofy, and I'm goofy a lot, and I fly that drone too far and I'm not paying attention to the battery level, the battery's going to say to the drone, hey, Rick's not watching me. We're way far away from his take off point in, at this point and the batteries are getting low enough where we may not be able to make it back the drone's going to go whoa what are you talking about and it's going to go into return to home mode and it's going to fly back and land so it's sort of a co-pilot because the batteries are talking to the controller inside the drone so this whole ecosystem is brilliantly designed and these batteries are a big part of it so i know i went on pretty long but you can tell as a nerd i love this kind of technology and anytime a company spends this much time building an intelligent battery i got to talk about it on the channel so hopefully you found this helpful again thanks for watching um, i appreciate all the views and uh, i'll be doing a lot more reviews on the channel talking about the air 3 and a bunch of other drones so if you're enjoying this make sure you subscribe stop back often we're going to have a lot of different technology on the channel over the rest of the summer and into the winter so thanks an awful lot for watching and until next time as always happy flying